<laughs> no. No. I'm confused what you're doing, so I'll stand here and judge. We must, we must have the illusion that we have our lives together. No. <laughs> Hey everyone, so this video is going to be a closet tour video. I've been wanting to do this since I did my basement tour, but I wanted to get a few more things organized and sorted out. Yesterday Sam and I just went through our entire closet. We got rid of a whole bunch of clothes. We actually brought three bags of clothes to donations. Now I thought since the room is clean, let's do a closet tour. The main closet is these doors here. This is actually Sam's side of the closet so we won't really be going into there but this is on my side of the closet. I hang all of my long sleeve shirts at the top here so I have all my long sleeves and then all my flannels and then I have dresses in the back corner over here. At the front here I have some awesome things like my Germany jersey. So the first thing I have right here are mostly like graphic long sleeve t-shirts so I have like my Backstreet Boys t-shirt that I got during the DNA World Tour, as well as an Imagine Dragons t-shirt. And then I have not one, not two, but three t-shirts we have gotten from the pancreatic cancer run that we do every single year. And then we just kind of move into more regular, like not graphic long sleeve shirts. These are pretty much what I wear to work most often, especially during the winter time. And then we move it, like I said, into my flannels and then into my dresses. At the bottom here, first thing I have are some of my jackets. So I have three of my denim jackets. I wear these a lot during the summer when it's too hot to wear a real, like a coat. And then my mom actually found this in storage and gave it to me. It is a very old Adidas jacket. And I love this thing. <laughs> My mom asked me if I wanted it, and I said yes. I think it's hilarious. This is kind of like a Letterman jacket that you would see like all those like really old high school mu movies. So after the jackets, we go into kind of like uh, cardigans like this. So this is actually this exact one that I'm wearing, just in gray. I wear a lot of these to work again during like the winter and stuff. I'll often pair these with like a white tank top like I have on today. Lots and lots of like cardigans, like I said, I think all the way up to here is all my like cardigans. And then I have some more just kind of like long sleeve t-shirts, uh, long sleeve sweaters. And then past here, we go into all my regular like bulky sweaters. We have the uh, condiment section here. And then I have a few in the very back, some awesome like Disney sweaters that I've collected. This one is one of my favorites. So this is my Mountain Rescue Expedition Everest sweater. It says uh, Expedition Everest Mountain Rescue Disney's Animal Kingdom. So I bought myself this sweater because when I lived in Florida back in 2013, two friends and I, you've seen them before if you've been following my channel, Allison and Tori, uh, the three of us decided to have a resort night and stay at one of the Disney resorts and the same day Tori actually had to go to work So Allison and I went to Animal Kingdom just the two of us while Tori was at work and When we were leaving to go to Animal Kingdom We realized that Tori left her camera at the resort and so we're like well What else are two mature adults supposed to do in this situation? We took Tori's camera to Animal Kingdom and we took a whole bunch of ridiculous pictures and then we also filmed a series of videos of the two of us as if we were actually going on a trek up Mount Everest because we were going on the ride Expedition Everest in Animal Kingdom. In the video, Allison, her character, gets taken by the Yeti and so then Years later, in 2016, when Tori and I went to Animal Kingdom, we decided to film the sequel to this video where myself and her, Clementine, went up the mountain to, in an attempt to try to save Allison. And so that happened. It was great. That video I actually do have on my channel. I will link it down below. After all that happened, I found this sweater in the gift shop for Expedition Everest, and I was like, I can't not have this. I am part of the mountain rescue team. I went up the mountain to rescue Allison. I need this sweater. And I've actually been asked multiple times wearing this sweater if I actually am part of like 
a rescue crew for Mount Everest. And I'm definitely not just, you know, the Disney version of Mount Everest. Here's another good sweater. This one has not a lot of significant meaning to it. However, I have been told by multiple people that I'm not allowed to wear this sweater because I myself wasn't born in 1991. Sam has told me that, my mother has told me that, but first of all, I just liked the sweater and honestly, I wear it all the time. It's extremely cozy and comfy. My favorite movie came out in 1991. One of my favorite people were born in 1991. So why the heck can I not wear a sweater that says 1991? I'm not part of an actual rescue crew, but I have a sweater for that. So why is this sweater so off limits? I've tried to organize this that the bottom are all things that go over other things. So for example, like cardigans and stuff, they go over tank tops and then the top shelf is things that kind of just you pair on your on their own like they obviously most of them I'll wear like an undershirt underneath but for the most part I will wear these as they are where these I will wear over top of something else then I have these shelves here so the first two here are mostly just like workout leggings I think these are kind of like more plain leggings and then this tiny shelf here has literally my everyday weekend leggings and there's only two pairs here right now because the third pair I'm currently wearing these are the only pants I pretty much wear on a daily weekend basis these two cubbies were completely filled yesterday and I got rid of so many leggings because really I only wear these ones the next shelf is all of my work pants, so I have some like nicer leggings as well as some uh, denim jeans. Uh, they're actually all jeggings because I refuse to wear denim. And then at the bottom are all my skirts. I used to hang them in the Harry Potter closet, which you guys will see in a second, but that has been taken over by something else. So I do try to keep the closet closed. I feel like having the closet doors closed makes the room look a little bit more tidy because especially if the closet is kind of a mess, it's like just shove it all in here and close the doors and no one will notice. So my dad, when he built out this basement for us, added this awesome feature of having a light switch right here over the closet doors it just it actually feels a lot brighter in the room with these lights on so now we're going to move over to this side of the room before we go into what i think is the best part of like my closet the next thing i want to show is this unit here i actually picked up this unit at walmart and i have an entire vlog of me assembling this unit i wanted to get the exact same unit that i have in the harry potter closet but they didn't have that the time I went to Walmart, but I'm actually glad that they didn't because I think this looks so much better. We have the white unit here with the white bookshelf, with the white dresser. If I can find this on the Walmart website, I will link it down below, as well as the one that's in the Harry Potter closet. Just a couple things up here that I'll show you. So the first thing, this little thing my mom actually bought me in Germany and it's so cute. So I've just added a few pictures of different trips I've taken with Sam. So this one was our very first trip together. We went on a cruise. This picture was taken in uh, the Grand Cayman. And then this picture was at Silverwood Theme Park when we went to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. And then this picture was at the pool at our hotel in Las Vegas. I bought the frame in Disneyland and the picture inside the frame is Tori, Allison and I when we got to go into Walt Disney's apartment in Disneyland. I wanted a picture from our vacation together and that was very special that we got to go into Walt Disney's apartment so I thought that would be a perfect picture for the frame. And it's kind of funny because not a lot of people at all realize that that's Walt Disney's apartment. So they see like a Disney frame and think, why did you put like the most non Disney picture in a Disney frame? But in reality, it is probably the most Disney picture there is. Then I also have my special pin I got when we did the tour where we got to go into his apartment. I just have this little tray, it has a J on it. And also this is a purple ribbon for pancreatic cancer. And then I've talked about this before. I have a Mickey Mouse conductor's hat. So I wanted to get a conductor's hat because Walt Disney loved trains. And so I wanted something to resemble that. The two shelves, there's nothing here. This is kind of like our odds and end coin jar. So when we have like loose change in our pocket, we'll put the coins in here for our adventures. And then this is all my currently being used 
notebooks. I'm not going to go into too much detail about my bookshelf, but just to give you a comparison, these are all the notebooks that I am currently using. Actually, there's more. I have more in my work bag. Each one has its own like reason and function. And these are all my notebooks that I've collected that I have not used yet. <laughs> They're all unused, sitting there waiting for a purpose. In the drawers, I have kind of everyday items that I need to grab. This one is bras, this one is underwear, this one is blacked and multicolored undershirts, and this one is all white undershirts. So the whole reason I have this out here is I used to have these things in the Harry Potter closet. And I kind of found I was really running all over the room every single morning getting ready. Like I'd go to the closet to get a pair of pants and then I'd go to the dresser to get a t-shirt and then I'd run all the way around to the Harry Potter closet to get underwear, bra, and undershirt. So I figured why not have everything that I use on a more day-to-day -day basis out in the open. I do still go into the Harry Potter closet more often than not because I have socks in there as well as you'll see what I do keep in there but on a more day-to-day -day basis especially with my work I'm not going in that closet just with what's kept in there. I'll explain more once we get in there. Having this out here makes my running around jog a little less. Here is our big dresser. I picked out this dresser because when I lived upstairs, I had the smaller version of this dresser upstairs, so I wanted matching ones when we moved downstairs. So that smaller dresser is actually still in the Harry Potter closet. You'll see it in a minute. This side is all Sam's clothes, and then this side is all my clothes. So the first drawer is all my plain uh, non-graphic t-shirts. Middle drawer is all my graphic t-shirts. So for example, Jurassic Park t-shirt. Okay, but Chris Evans t-shirt, Backstreet Boys t-shirt, and so on and so forth. Next drawer is uh, quite full. <laughs> I've gone through this drawer several times to try to get rid of stuff and I just can't because these are all my tank tops. I really love wearing tank tops. I wear them all the time during the summer. I'll even sometimes wear them in the winter. And like I said, just pair it with something like this. So I have graphic and non-graphic tank tops. I have just some plain white tank tops in there. And then I have some other fun tank tops in here, a plaid a puss. It's plaid and it's a plaid a puss. You can't get much better than that. And then I have some ones like this that are, they're technically graphics, but they're not like a full on like animal or something like that. So these ones I would probably still wear to work, just depending what I pair it with. Just a couple things we have on top here. I have a little plush BB-8 that my mother-in-law got me. This is kind of my little bag of treats that I use every single night. So like hand cream. I have a whole bunch of different chargers in this bag. Some Febreze. Currently have my reserved copy of Rise of Skywalker. And then this is Sam's little watch kit. So he keeps all his watches in here. Here is my little kind of like Beauty and the Beast corner. So this is my Enchanted Rose. I actually made this using stuff from Ikea. So the vases from Ikea, as well as the uh, fake roses from Ikea. You guys may have seen this before, but this is my signed picture that uh, Paige O'Hara signed. So this is what I brought to the Calgary Expo and Paige O'Hara signed for me. Right next to that is my picture with Paige O'Hara. So gotta have those two things in my little Beauty and the Beast corner. So this is a kind of vintage style map of Disneyland. I ordered this online. I don't remember where it was from. It was honestly just kind of like a Facebook ad kind of a thing. Now you've seen the main closet and the two kind of dressers. So now we're going to move on to the most exciting thing in my opinion, the Harry Potter closet. We call it the Harry Potter closet because it is under the stairs, but in reality, it is a Disney closet. Let me explain. So first thing you see when you come in here is my little Disney pictures. So I did a whole vlog where I found these at Walmart and put them up myself. So I just kind of hung these up because I thought they were cute, but they actually have served a purpose now because this closet has turned into my Disney closet in the sense that pretty much everything in here is Disney related. So this is the unit that I was talking about that I wanted to get the same one out there, but I'm glad that they didn't have this one. So in here, I keep all of my white plain socks. This entire bin is all my hilarious socks. So, oh, not these ones. Some watermelon socks, 
beaver socks, Captain America socks, shark socks, just to name a few. Last two bins down here are all my purses or extra purses that I don't use on a daily basis. This is my most used weekend bag because I use this one more often than the other ones. I keep it hanging here. These little bins here are for my Kia and these I just keep my work shoes in so I often wear flats to work so I keep them all in there for easy grabbing when it's time to go to work. This is the exciting part. Ha! Ah, I hung this here. This is my name tag from when I worked in Disney World. This box here is all my special collectible things from Disneyland or Disney World. I have maps in here, old fast passes, things like that. And then in this bin, I keep all my ears and hats, like my special Haunted Mansion hat, Minnie, Mickey, Pluto, uh, Little Big Feet. I have in there, my bin, a Donald and Mickey Mouse Christmas one. So at Christmas time, these will go in the bin and the Christmas ones will come out. Hanging here, I just have a couple of onesies. This was literally the only place they would fit. There's nowhere in the closet that hangs this low. So that's why those are there. Luckily, that's all we have. I used to have all these things hanging, but just the length of the dresser, they all kind of like folded and sat along the dresser and I didn't like that. I just didn't like how it looked and it was starting to look too cramped so I ordered these things off of Amazon and it's not super ideal. I still wish I could hang them but I like it better than how they were hanging just because there wasn't enough room for them to actually hang. This entire one is all my spirit jerseys so I have my Rise of Skywalker, Monsters University, Bronze Bell of the Ball, um, I don't know what the name of this spirit jersey is, but this is like the sweater sweater spirit jersey I got recently in Disneyland. And then I have the Epcot Canada spirit jersey, the Haunted Mansion spirit jersey, and then a Mickey and Minnie Mouse spirit jersey. This is probably my favorite and most used and worn stuff, with the exception of this one. These are all my flannels that I've gotten from the website Cakeworthy. This one looks kind of like a cake worthy flannel in the sense that it has like a design on the back but I actually got this at the Disney store this was on sale at the Disney store for like twelve dollars and I literally saw it and I was like this is so ugly I need it even though it's not technically cake worthy I keep it here because it is still a flannel and it kind of goes with the theme especially this particular slot these three are all Star Wars related so I have the one I just showed and then this one says may the force be with you this is brand new from their collection it probably won't be brand new by the time this video goes up but this one says the force is strong with this one and then I have poof what do you need do you want to build a snowman it's not a quest it's just a strange errand tale as old as time and then we scare because we care i love cake worthy flannels i'm gonna do an entire video about them eventually but i love them i think they're great i will link them down below check them out and then here are all kind of just sweaters so this one i bought at the disney store and it's kind of like a spirit jersey in the sense that it has kind of like the design on the front and then the big words across the back shoulder. So this is obviously the Mandalorian. Kind of looks like a spirit jersey, but I consider it more of a sweater. And it's also a lot more bulky than my regular spirit jerseys. So that's why it sits here with the sweaters. I also have here a Pixar sweater from Cakeworthy. I have a Mickey Mouse kind of varsity sweater, as well as my Darth Vader sweater. And at the bottom, I have my Powerline sweater and my Mickey Halloween sweater. I did a whole video about this, but part of the whole reason I bought the shelves or the unit outside the closet or outside this closet was because I wanted to put like those little things like tank tops, things like that out there. I had them in these three drawers originally. And then my three drawers in my dresser were just completely filled to the brim with all my other t-shirts. So I did a whole vlog about it, but I basically went through all my t-shirts and all my tank tops and put all my Disney related t-shirts and tank tops into these drawers. So the first drawer is all just kind of plain, well not plain, but regular style t-shirts. A few examples I have in here. This t-shirt that I got at Hot Topic when they had the Haunted Mansion line. So three thumbs up for the Hitchhiking Ghosts. Bonus points if you know their names. And this is one of my favorite ones that references my life as a cast member. Uh, Chris from Orlando, Captain America, 
bought this in uh, Las Vegas at the Marvel station. And probably one of my most favorite ones that doesn't get nearly enough wear is my Darth fucking Vader t-shirt. Tori actually made me this t-shirt and I wish I could wear it more often, but I mean, it's definitely one that I can't really wear out of the house. I love this t-shirt. I will treasure it forever, but I can't wear it very often. <laughs> and then the second drawer is all my Disney tank tops and then a few lighter tee or long sleeve shirts. All of these were actually in the cubbies here, but the cubbies were starting to get really, really full. So I put kind of like lighter long sleeve t-shirts in the drawer because I honestly don't have very many Disney tank tops. Let me just show you a few. Chippendale Rescue Rangers bought this at the Disney store. This tank top I actually have worn to work. When I bought it, I was like, this is kind of cute. It kind of just looks like a tank top with some fun floral design. But if you look closely, there's a couple Millennium Falcons on there. So this is my secret Disney t-shirt or my secret Star Wars tank top that I secretly wear to work sometimes and see if I can get away with it. And so far I have, no one said anything. I've actually sometimes challenged myself to see what I can wear to work without people people saying or noticing so I've worn that Chris from Orlando t-shirt to work and then the last final bottom drawer is all of my pajamas I actually went through this and probably got rid of mostly stuff from here yesterday when we were going through here because I probably wear the same pajamas over and over and over again so there is really no need for me to have so many so I got rid of a lot of pajamas so that is it that is my whole closet tour eventually Sam and I will be moving out of this house. When we do move out of this house, I am very excited to have a different setup and everything because I absolutely love organizing stuff and I love setting up things. So I'm very excited for that day to eventually happen. For the time being, this is our closet. I'm actually very happy with the whole situation we have down here. It's a lot better. We have a lot more room than we did upstairs. So it's really great and I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later. Bye everybody.